Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 4th of December 2020 and the time has just gone 9.35 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, uh, also referred to as the dollar CAD. Um, if we take a look at the chart over the last few months, we can see that there's been a fairly clear and aggressive downward trend the last few months, uh, particularly the last few weeks. Um, a combination of things, the US dollar as a whole has been has been under, under pressure. Um, the Canadian dollar has been doing relatively well because of the, the, the rebound we've seen in the oil market. Uh, so hence why we've seen a major sell-off in dollar CAD. And in fact, the lows that we're seeing today were the lowest level seen since October 2018. So we're talking over two-year lows were set today. If you take a look at today's price action, um, it's a very, um, the opening price isn't too far away from the closing price, uh, and, and we see a fairly small range in terms of the highs and lows. It's not really surprising because today um, have some have a couple of very important uh, economic indicators. At 1330 GMT, we have the US non-farm payrolls numbers out, which is the US employment numbers, but we also have the Canadian numbers coming out as well at the same time. In fact, those numbers can be viewed on our, uh, on our economic calendar under news analysis, third option down, you can see here on the market calendar, uh, you know, the details will populate in there. So it's not really surprising that um, dollar CAD hasn't moved a whole lot on today's session. Oh, it obviously depends on how things play out. Um, like I said a minute ago, the US dollar as the US dollar index has been quite weak recently. Um, so if we do have a better than expected jobs numbers, that could give an incentive for traders to do some bargain hunting on the relatively weak US dollar. Conversely, a weak US jobs report would probably add um, to the kind of bullish view on the uh, on the dollar so that we could see the continuation of the downward trend that's been in play. But keep in mind, it also depends on what's going on with the Canadian jobs report. Um, if you take a look at the price action in the last few days, the last couple of, um, of, 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 um, of days have been quite aggressive in terms of negative move. We can see there's a steady rise in negative momentum on the MACD indicator. So for the time being, the momentum is with the bears. If we press on lower from here, we could be looking at heading back down towards this area here. Um, we could be heading back down toward this area here in at one spot 2527. Apologies. If we take out, because we're currently in around one spot 2860, if we continue to move lower from here, we could be looking at retesting the lows of early October 2018 in around one spot 2782. And if we go below that, we could then be looking at heading down towards the, the lows of April 2018 in around one spot 2527. Now, conversely, if we, if we rebound from this area, where could we potentially run into resistance? We, well, we could see resistance in this area here in around one spot, 2928. We could notice on a couple of occasions it acted as support and it sort of acted as resistance um, only, only yesterday. Uh, if we do manage to take out that level, um, we could be heading back up toward this general zone here, north of 130. 130 itself would be kind of deemed an important figure, but we can see here just north of it in around one spot 3029, uh, one spot 3022. We can see in a few occasions when the market wasn't the downward trend, it hung around that zone and then before it had the next leg lower. So a break below that will be fairly significant. Uh, any moves beyond that could bring the 50 day moving average, this blue line here, into play. We can see on a few occasions that around that metric we did see some areas in consolidation uh, and similar to situation with the this yellow line here the water really moving average now it's fairly clear that there were a few spikes above it um, but on the various different occasions where the market traded above the water really moving average didn't actually successfully uh, uh, kind of close on usually under that metric so just be mindful of that so keep an eye out for one spot 3202 to the upside should we see uh, a move higher in dollar CAD. Now, if you are going to be trading the Canadian dollar, uh, I would suggest you keep an eye on what's going on on the oil market. Uh, I'm currently looking at uh, crude oil, West Texas, the, the cash contract. From the lows of April, it's been a solid upward trend. And only today, uh, yet again, it's hit another multi-month high. So we're now back to levels last seen since early March 2020. 
If we press on higher from here, the all contract, we could be looking at heading up towards 48.50. And if we go beyond that, sorry, 48 to spot 53. If we go beyond that, we could be looking at heading towards 50 bucks a barrel. If that is the case, that'll be that's, that's, that's likely to have a, a positive impact on the Canadian dollar, and therefore that could kind of continue to put pressure on the dollar CAD because, as we can, as you said, there's been a downward momentum across the board on the US dollar. Um, but conversely, um, there's been strength on the Canadian dollar because of the, the rebound in the oil market. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, we here at CMC Markets um, offer a number um, of uh, currency baskets. They can be found here under the products. Uh, we can scroll down here, um, coming down to uh, Forex indices. So we can see here, if you look and see how the dollar index has performed on its own, we can see here that the CMC US dollar index has been in a fairly obvious downward trend the last few months. And conversely, if you take a look at the CMC CAD index, the, the Canadian index, we can see on the flip side of it, has been broadly speaking been moving higher the last few months. So we can see here that it's fairly obvious in the two currencies in their own right have been going, have been going in opposite directions. And today we're highlighting to see volat high volatility because of both the Canadian jobs numbers and the US job numbers at 1330 GMT. Uh, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading, trading day. Uh, have a nice weekend.